Rayla with the purple hair. Rayla with the purple hair. I'm annoying and I'm embarrassing. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, I got me a purple wig. Y'all know purple is like my favorite color. So I decided to get me a purple wig. A purple motherfucking wig. Let me show y'all in the different lights though. So this is my favorite filter. So that's the light. And this this just makes me look like an ice queen. You know, it look blue. And then this the other light. Okay. Let me brighten it a little bit. Oh shoot. I just be pushing random buttons, Lord. I should know this by now. Okay, y'all look, I got me a new office chair. I got me a new couch. Office tour coming soon. The next thing I need to do is get some pictures to hang up on the wall. Um, get me a vanity. And then I'll be ready for an office tour to show y'all. But anyways, hey y'all, it is me, Zarela. We're going to be um, reacting to, let me see. We're going to be reacting to some horror stories. I was going to do Sims 4 horror stories, but... I didn't see none that looked like really scary. I don't know. But um, so we're just gonna do this 14 horror stories animated compilation of 2015. So let's get it poppy and we're gonna get it going. Oh, <laughs> All right, um, so if I look over here, then I'm looking at myself, okay? I gotta see myself in this purple here and see if I look right, okay? But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Card, Wait, I gotta put on my headphones for that. Headphones make everything scarier, and you gotta turn it up very, very, very loud, okay? So I'm gonna turn it up very, very, very loud. I was looking for a car to buy for my son for his 18th birthday. I was searching all the typical car websites, cars.com, eBay Motors. They were all overpriced as expected. Craigslist was the only place to find an actual deal. About a week into my search, I found an 03 Toyota Camry. It had 67,000 miles, no okay. accidents, no damage, and good condition for only 3,500. This oh, seems a like lot. a steal for such a reliable car with such low mileage. The seller lived about 10 miles from me, which was a reasonable drive when looking for a car. I gave him a call to set up a time to come check it out. The man Are sounded you trying to show us on the, the phone. phone. He assured me that there were absolutely no problems with the car. He introduced himself as Bob. Okay, I bought around 3500 in cash, even though I planned on wiggling down the price as much as possible. And you doing all this at night I pulled up the dirt road to Bob's oh, property yeah, you about 15 minutes early. It was a tiny little house with a decent sized property, only because I was a bit far from the nearest neighbors. Okay. The garage was open, so I walked over to see if anybody was inside, but except for an unusual amount of car parts, it was empty. The car was nowhere in sight. The only car on the property was an old pickup truck. See, that's weird. Go I ahead and leave. I went over to the front door to check the Why house would you numbers. Still... It was the right address. The doorbell I button was missing, so I knocked on the front door. Hell I knocked no. for exactly five minutes before deciding to give the man he a call. He in the middle of nowhere. So I dialed Hell his no. number, and I heard the sound of a cell phone ringing from inside the house. So he did. I was extremely confused at this point. He answered the door. Now I knew dope. I had the right house. He did. I didn't understand why, if he was home, why he wasn't answering. I decided I had to take a peek through one of the windows to see if anybody was inside. Yeah, let's take a little peek. Peering through the glass, I couldn't really see much as it was pretty dark inside the house. I saw a very old-fashioned dining room set, but across from that, I saw somebody standing at the back Ooh. door of the house, staring outside. He's staring at you. I figured you. that must have been Bob, so I knocked on the window. But he I hell move. no! You see him just staring no at you through the window, and then he gonna knock on the window. I would've said. It was just a wide open yard since this got was in my car rural area. <laughs> I simply walked around the house to the backyard. I didn't understand how he couldn't hear me. When I got to the back door, he could hear you. He see you not. The figure standing by the door was a taxidermied human being. <laughs> I ran straight back the way I came. A taxidermy. I looked up one last time before driving off. Y'all know what taxidermy is? Let me uh, let me search it and let me show y'all. It's uh, I don't know how to spell it though. Taxidermy. Okay, okay, there we go. T 
taxidermy. It means that they take real life, like usually it's animals, but they take real life animals and then they take out the insides and stuff and like stuff them with stuffy. So he did that to a real life person. Oh hell no. Look, and then he looking the at the window. The window I had peeked into had been shut. Please, please, and I could please, see two please. of the blinds bent open. I'm Somebody acting like I'm really a part of this. Watching me. You Leave. can probably guess I had the gas pedal to the floor the whole way home. Yeah, hell yeah. The whole shoot. situation still makes no sense. Right. All the car parts, the fact that there was no Toyota Camry, right. the taxidermy human being. He would go, he the fact go that do there was you. no car there leads me to believe that whoever that man was mm -hmm. wasn't planning on selling me anything. And that also leads to the disturbing thought that Not at all. I was very close to becoming a lifeless statue staring out that man's back door. Oh, you would have been so ugly too. I'm so glad that you did not decide to just stay there. The man didn't even come to the door or nothing. Like, that's really, like, scary. Was that it? I was on tour trying to find some really okay, deep websites. Okay, this is websites. a new one. I was in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly what illegal you're pornography. Looking at? Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link so. without describing what it was. I clicked you clicked on it, it, and it took course. me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. Okay, the video play. thumbnail was a dark room only lit by a TV screen. Okay, play. Out of curiosity, I clicked play and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. There was no seek bar on this video. Then, I noticed something slowly begin to oh, emerge hell from no. behind hell the wall. Fuck no. It was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less than a second. It still got me, even though I was expecting it, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me was observing oh, yeah, me that's sweet. then i heard a crackly demonic voice say something now it's following me it now from the video <laughs> it repeated itself a and i can make the phrase out to be <clears throat> ask me something i was really confused ask me something. i tried typing something but there was nowhere to enter text then he said no not the keyboard say something <laughs> Hell no, that's I when I would've shut my chest as he said this. Y'all know what I would've did? Task manager in task, turn off the whole computer. Problem I solved. I my mouth and mumbled the words, you can hear me? You, you can hear and me. And responded with, yes. Oh, hell no. I was uncomfortable now. I thought it was a video. It ain't no video. Pause, you got the webcam on and stuff. He said, he ran to don't the try to leave, I want to talk. No, I, I tried moving the mouse to the exit button, but the mouse was frozen. You better I control all the leads. None of the keys were responding on my keyboard. There was a long moment Unplug the computer, unplug it. Before my webcam began flashing. Hold the uh, on, power button. And my face popped up on the screen. Oh, hell no. There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. <laughs> I to panic, smashing every key on the no. keyboard, spazzing the mouse, I'll be but throwing it did that, um, laptop. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. It didn't work. Oh. The computer wouldn't turn off. The voice was saying crazy things like, I wouldn't You're know stuck what to here. Do. I will find you. Don't even bother. I snatched the screwdriver sitting on my desk, unscrewed the four <laughs> screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out Good the battery. Thinking. He the funny. computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. Mm -mm. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. I guess what I would have drove to my mom's house and got in her bed. I have since left my laptop off after that and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. I'm sure he by now do it on will desktop happen. too. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. He under the bed. Is he under your bed? Address. Is this a different one? It was very common for me to be home alone at night, as I only lived with my dad, and his shifts would constantly shift from days to nights. This happened around the time my dad okay, was doing this another night story. shifts. 
I would say. Okay, well, that episode was a little scary. But he ended up under his bed. I wanted to see after that. I stay up really late on these nights watching movies. It's always taken me a long time to fall asleep. These are so fun to watch. So after turning off the TV to go to sleep, I probably laid there for a good half hour. Then, I heard a toy fall over in my toy closet. It was nothing too suspicious, uh, but it still creeped me out. Hello? But then, the doorknob to my closet Is anybody in the closet? Oh, hell no! Unlocking the door. Oh, hell no! Then Imagine this, y'all. What would you do? Oh my god. I'm gonna for cry. A good two minutes, so, I finally peeked my head out of the covers. There was a figure standing next to my bed, looking down at me. So I hell screamed no. at the top of my lungs and began hugging the wall behind me. Dad, 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 come the window, off my nose. And just walked away out of the room. I stayed in that position for like an hour before checking if he was really gone. Hell no. The front door was left wide open, so it seemed he had left. Well, I'm scared. I didn't get a minute of sleep that night. Hell no, I wouldn't have slept. <laughs> Okay, it's another one. This story is from the point Teenage of view of a sixteen-year-old girl. I used to have a boy <clears throat> living next door to me that was obsessed with me. His name was Joey. Every time I would go outside, Joey would come outside as well, as if he were watching me through his windows, waiting. For Joey, me. you weird, you creepy. Get in your weird. house and go ha- get a life. Didn't seem to have any friends, as he was always home. I tried to give every sign possible that I didn't like this guy, but he wouldn't get the message. So I had to finally just tell him one day that I don't like him and to leave me alone. The look on his face that day is something that won't leave me. It was the kind of angry look a toddler gives you to a toy. Coming from a 17 year old is much more disturbing. One night my parents left me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. Oh hell no. I looked under my bed. Oh shit. I screamed as I saw Joey laying under my bed. What? I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under the my hell? bed. I ran to his house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Joey never came out of my house, so I called the police. His parents begged me not to, but I ignored them. The police found him Come still in my room and arrested him. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. They also found pictures of me scattered across his room. The most disturbing one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside my room. Hell no. Midnight office. These are so fun to watch. If y'all want me to do a part two of this. Working the night shift really suck. Part two, part three, or whatever. Because we're about to end this soon. We've been watching 10 minutes of it. We're going to go to... We're going to watch two more stories, and then I'm going to end this video. I work it's in so an fun. office building and would constantly do the night shifts since it was the only time it would work out for me. I was just about always the only person on the floor I worked on, possibly in the whole building. There would always be a kind of eerie feeling to being in okay, such a big girlfriend. building with Cute. most Look of the outside right. and absolutely no one around. But on the upside, it was peaceful and less <laughs> stressful, and I was able to get a lot of work done. There was this one night, though. It was a Friday night, around 2 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I was typing away on my keyboard when I heard a noise from outside my cubicle. It sounded like just a random crack yourself? from the walls or something. It's unusual in this oh, building, no. but I didn't get too concerned about This was you not finna do. If I did work in the office, you not finna leave me by myself in this big ass uh, room in my little cubicle with the lights off. And no... I'm not finna work no overtime and you gonna leave me there by myself. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Cause I already know if that did happen, I just have a feeling that I would just start hearing noises and stuff and I would just cry. And it'll be the worst. It. I resumed typing. You better than me. Was once again interrupted by a sound. <coughs> this time, the sound of a computer starting up. And you it caught me off guard. Was there, yeah. I was sure nobody else was working the night right? shift. You're I stood up one. on my chair to get I a view over the cubicle walls. The glare of a computer screen in the dark was visible in a cubicle on the opposite side of the room. Mm -mm. Then I did something stupid. What, you walked over there? I asked if there was anybody there in a yell, hoping to get an answer from a fellow employee. Is anybody there? But instead, I saw the glaring light of the computer monitor across the room turn off. 
I be hating when people be doing that in the movies. They be like, is anybody there? <laughs> but in this situation, I probably would have asked if anybody was there because it could be like a coworker staying in the night shift, night shift too. But it's also scary. Like I would have just clocked out and just left. And there's once again nothing but darkness on that side of the room. I started getting nervous. You gotta walk down that long I turned off hallway. the lamp and computer screen so that I wouldn't give away my position to whoever that was. You know where you went? I crouched down and tiptoed out across to Oh my gosh, that is so me. There was just utter silence. Imagine me I doing this, y'all. for something to happen for God knows how long, but I eventually decided the coast was clear. I tiptoed down past all the cubicles until I reached the opening near the exit door to the stairs and elevators, and that's when I realized that my fearful suspicion was true. There was a man crouched down behind a plant in the Hell corner of the no. room dressed in all black. I felt my heart sink as I noticed him, but it didn't seem like he knew that I noticed him. That's like that that one song that do do run run. I don't I don't know. How it I turned goes. back to the stairway yeah, door. Yeah, no, talking about. There was no way I was going to wait for the elevator and take a chance. I you casually go down the, the door and closed it behind me, proceeding <clears throat> to walk down the stairs. You walk it. After making it down about two flights of stairs. I heard the door above me push open aggressively, followed by manic, echoing footsteps coming fast down the stairs. I raced down the stairs, running as fast as I could, all while the footsteps above me were getting louder. What if it was just his boss coming to give him a promotion? No, but. the lobby and out the front door. Whoever was in there didn't follow me. I immediately called the cops, along with one of my bosses. My boss said no one was scheduled to work except for me. The cops scanned the place from top to bottom. He just got done doing was the no mess. Y'all seen it? I couldn't help them out with any description other than he was wearing all black. I did continue to do the night shift for about a week after that, with my boss allowing me to lock all possible entrances to the floor, including the elevators. But I still wasn't comfortable with it. So ever since, yeah, I've you been crazy. doing the day shifts. Yeah, duh. Do the day shifts. Why would you continue to do the night shifts? I mean, that was done. Okay, the pizza guy. See, this is why I don't like random people coming to my this house. This happened four years I'm ago. always getting Uber Eats and stuff, and then, like, I just don't like it because they just know where you live. It's just weird. And then, or, like, ordering pizza and stuff. It's just weird. I just don't like stuff like that, but I continue to do it because I be hungry. Anyways. Though, when I was still in high school, I was told it's to do last my last story. delivery of my shift. Oh, no, we I got one in my more car, after which was a 1999 Camry, perfect for delivering pizzas. I GPS the address of my phone. I live upstate in the country, so all pizza deliveries were long drives. Okay. I remember the sun was starting to set, so it was probably around 7 o'clock. I'd say yeah, after a good 15 car. minutes of driving through the foresty dirt roads, my GPS said I had arrived. It was an old little cottage-like house made almost entirely of oh, wood. Oh, you're delivering It was pizza. sitting all by itself in the middle of absolutely nothing but forest. Oh, no. Nah. The lawn was completely unkept, as the grass was almost at knee height. I was used oh, to this kind nah. of thing, so I didn't think much of it. He was used to it. I took the pizza to the front door. There was no doorbell, so I knocked loudly on the door. Oh, jeez. Within ten <laughs> seconds, I heard the sound of footsteps hitting wood on the inside of the house. Okay, they come into the, the door. The footsteps made it to the door and stopped. I started to feel uneasy. I got the feeling that Why I was being that? watched. Oh, because they looked through the door. And that's when I noticed there was a peephole I mean, in the, the door. Peephole, whatever it's, called, shit. it's the pizza guy, I called out. I heard a low, harsh Somebody, uh, voice on the other side of the door telling me to bring the pizza out back. Piece. I didn't like the idea of going back there. Something didn't yeah, seem I, right. Yeah, I ordered a large pepperoni motherfucker pizza, but I don't want it no more. <laughs> that's the, that is exactly what just happened. Are you sure, sir? I called out. He didn't answer my question. The sound of footsteps didn't move away from the door, so I had the feeling he was still watching me. I almost found myself walking back to my car, but I decided I didn't want any trouble with my Just boss. Just leave the damn pizza. The last time I brought oh, a pizza well. back, he gave me attitude. You do need so money. So I reluctantly walked through the uncut grass and around yeah. the small house to the back. I remember there was a shed that? and a little patio back there. In the patio... There was a table with four Fuck chairs surrounding boss. it, and one of the chairs facing away from me. 
fuck your boss. I would go to my boss and be like, well, the dude came to the motherfucking door, looked at the motherfucking peephole because I heard him come to the motherfucking door, but he didn't open the motherfucking door. So I said, okay, then I'm going to eat your pizza. And I left. Simple. You don't walk to the back I of the I saw the head house. of somebody sitting Hell in the nah. seat. I began walking over and said, oh. excuse me. But the person didn't even move an inch. And it's nighttime. See, I don't Excuse me, that. I said again louder. Then from behind me, I heard, Psst, over here. I turned around to see a man poking his head out from the corner of the yeah. house, looking at me with a crazed smile. Come over here. I want to show you something. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to throw that piece at him out, and run. around and ran around the house in the opposite direction, back to my look, car, for some reason look, still holding the Somebody on the swing. I got in my car, started it, and got away from there. On my way back to the pizzeria, I got in my car and started and got away from there. And why they all balloon? On my way back to the pizzeria, I pulled over to the side of the road and called the police. They were dead, but alive. Eventually, I was informed that there was no sign of anybody having been in that house for a long time. I knew it. Paranormal activity. I quit my job a few days after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what would have happened to me had I got up to that man. But to this day, I still wish I'd just turned my head. To see you a who high five. or what was sitting in that patio chair. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, this is what was sitting in the chair. Hell no. I'm glad he didn't turn around. Because if he would have turned around to get the pizza. Okay, stop staring at me like that, please. Oh, and then his whole head gonna fall off. What the heck? Was it just a dead dude? It was during a blizzard in Valley Stream. I was getting paid $250 to watch some couple's kid while they went away for the weekend. His name was Matthew. Okay. This took place on the first night, which was a Friday night. Matthew was already supposedly asleep while I was in the living room watching a movie. I got a knock at the door oh, and geez. looked at the clock. It was close to midnight. There was no way I was opening it. Not even 10 seconds later, I heard the sound of two or three men angrily banging on the door, telling me to open up. I felt like my heart was about to stop. I wouldn't know what to do. I took a oh peek through the gosh. blinds, and there was somebody standing. That is not no peek, you said. Peek is like. I fell back in fear, <laughs> and after managing to get back on my feet, I ran to the kitchen phone first thing to call the police. They said because of the weather, it could take a while for an officer to get here. Look, I was told to take the child and hide somewhere until an officer arrived. They wanted to keep me on the line, but I wasn't they thinking clearly the heat of the moment and hung up. However, it wasn't until I ran through the living room that I realized the banging had stopped. I took a second peek through the living room. Stop peeking like that. Nobody was there now. They gonna pop up. <laughs> they break it in. Glass shattering from a few rooms over. My knees started to feel weak Get your knee. as I realized oh. they had just broken the window your and were about to climb into the house. Go out another window. Matthew. I couldn't yeah, just leave get, without him. Get Matthew of and y'all jump out upstairs, the window. There was no time left to run back downstairs yeah, as I already heard that. footsteps and laughter coming from downstairs. Y'all finna jump out that window. I covered Matthew's mouth with my hands as room. I ran with him into his toy closet. Oh, Lord, not a few the toy minutes closet. dragged on to what felt like half an hour as we sat there in the dark closet. Matthew began to squeal as footsteps on the carpet Shmi. reached the outside of his bedroom Matthew. door. There was more than one person. They they came inside. It. There weren't many places to hide in this room. I was actually reflecting on my whole life, so I'm uh -huh. sure I was going to die. Uh -huh. We heard the sound of a police siren outside, even from in the closet. And then I heard one of the men in the room mutter, Aw, oh, shit. I opened the door back up as I heard at least three pairs of footsteps hurriedly rushing down the stairs. They didn't get far as the police later found their footprints in the backyard, leading to our shed. There were five men in total, and they were all arrested. Uh, what was they coming to do? <clears throat> wow, people are crazy. Y'all, this is so good. I love these. It has 12 million views a day, y'all. But y'all, y'all, do y'all want me to finish this? Because this was so fun to record. That was lit. But, um, 
shouldn't turn that off but yeah y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here let me know if y'all want me to do some more reacting to some scary stories or if y'all want me to continue this uh particular uh video also comment down below what y'all want me to react to i want to do some more reaction videos I think they fun, so I really want to do that. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video, and hopefully, y'all are enjoying, like, the new content on my channel. Different content, you know. You know. <laughs> but anyways, I love y'all so much, and um, don't forget to leave a like, a sweet, 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 sweet comment down below, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.